We really love braiding. Gwen really loves braiding right now. We've been doing a lot. If you've seen her already, you can see she's up ahead. And it's just the spirit of um, the undoneness, once again, the stubbornness of it all. And these very simple braids. Basically, what we've done is taken the uh, the uh, L'Oreal Professional makes a uh, spray called Density, and we're just tacking the hair up. We're letting your own hair texture exist. So I'm just flipping, getting it in, getting a movement in your hair. And then, in the case of the other girls, we're putting three braids in uh, for this whole other thing. We pull it up in a ponytail, just do the typical folded. When girls put their hair in a ponytail, you all know. But you don't pull it through, we're leaving that there. And we're starting to blend these knots and, and bring, bring them around. The other thing that's really important about it is that it doesn't get too done. That's why we didn't go to cornrows and things like that, because it would just look a little too too finished. And we want this ease. We want the fly away. We want this uh, sort of cool. The girl's cool. That's the bottom line. She's wind, she's lamb, she's cool. And that's really what we're featuring. But we really wanted this sort of braid toughness, this this other thing that she's not so pressed about her hair being up in every right place. It can be fly away. And again, that, I find that to be really summer too. So. Um, and the other thing is, it's, it's almost as if, not to get too deep about this, because I, whenever I see hairdressers come on like this, I get <laughs> embarrassed for them, but day into evening, you know, this is, this is a day and a night look, but the, the lamb girl, any woman that wears lamb is basically always going to be a little done. Whatever her trip is, she's inspired by Gwen, she loves the thing, she's got a golden sense of herself, but her, her look is going to be a little finished, you know, she's going to have her makeup, she's going to do something with her hair. And we really wanted to make it easy and playful and, and cool as opposed to uh, all the other wonderful things you've seen us do over the years. Van Gogh like Blue. Van Gogh Blue. Okay. We took a half a bottle of Speedy. We added 10 drops of Inkwell, 10 drops of Anchor Blue, mm -hmm. 10 drops of Studio White, mm -hmm. shook the whole baby up. And when you put two coats on, it dries liquid. Nice. Because it's in a beautiful top coat, and then we're really tempted if we have time, hit it with a little more top coat just right. for extra shine. And but, why yeah. did you guys decide on this color? Well, Gwen wanted a dark, rich, kind of a, a starry night blue, yeah. but she wanted it to read blue and yeah. not black. Right. And so Inkwell, very, very dark, had to be diluted, yeah. pumped up, and yeah. then shined out. We looked at some pictures that she pulled and her whole inspiration is a little bit tribal, but without making it a makeup that's tribal, that is maybe not too glamorous, we thought that we could mix tribal with punk. Punk? Yes. And then we, had, we needed it to be a glamorous punk. So this is why we used a lot of shine. So the skin has first been prepped with the Dream Liquid Mousse eyebrows with Define a Brow Pencil. The eyes has been prepped with the three colors. It's the 05 palette and the Eye Club Eye Studio. So I've used the copper to do the drawing. I've used the in heavy doses. As you see it there, that's how it looks on the girls. This is on the eyelid itself, the moving eyelid. And this is up around the brow and in the corner of the eye. And I've also used this shade on the top of the cheekbone. So you get a highlighted, beautiful shine. Under the eye, I've used a black coal pencil. So that's what gives it the punk attitude. Then lots of mascara, the falsies. On the cheeks, I've contoured the cheeks very lightly with a darker shade of foundation. In this case, I've used the mineral powder. It's the color sensational shine that they all have on. And then when it's not the color sensational shine, it is the color sensational 645 in a deep red. But there's only going to be like five girls with the deep lips. And then everybody else is going to have very lush, glossy lips. How do you determine who wore what? Skin color? Instinct. I went, that's why I had to do the run, you know, the walkthrough, you know, so I can see what's going on.